Hello, in this session, we will go with intramolecular allyl condensation. We know about allyl condensation in the presence of a strong base which is dilute. Okay, now remember this condition, it must be a strong base but it should be dilute, strong and dilute conditions. Okay, like sodium hydroxide you can take, potassium hydroxide are good, they must be strong but they must be dilute. In the presence of them, if you are having 1, 4 or 1, 5 dicarbonyl compounds. You can take all its ketones, fine. 1, 4 or 1, 5 dicarbonyl compounds. If you are taking, they will turn into a 5 member ring or a 6 member ring. Okay, now 1, 4 and 1, 5 dicarbonyl compounds. You need a strong dilute base as we perform in the order condensation case, same thing. 1,4,1,5 dicarbonyl compounds. I will give you one example, you see. For example, this is double bond O. This I am taking hydrogen. So this is first place, second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place. This in place of fourth, I am taking a ketone group. If this is methyl 1, Okay, I can say this is methyl, this is aldehyde, this is ketone. No issues, you can take anything. Okay, so there must be alpha hydrogen. So here alpha hydrogens are there. This is CH3. What happens here? It's very simple. In the presence of OH minus conditions, dilute, dilute OH minus. You know, what happens? One hydrogen from here you take and add here. There will be a bond between them. Okay, now this becomes carbon ion CH2 minus it is going to affect here and this will be so this becomes OH this hydrogen I am keeping as it is this is double bond O this became CH2 from here hydrogen shifted here and between them a bond forms so a 5 member ring is formed 1 2 3 4 ok 1 4 diketone or 1 4 dicarbonyl compound will be giving you a 5 member one ok 5 member one then uh, you can remove water molecule from this minus H2 OH and H will go so that is going to be like this this double bond O is as it is this hydrogen I am not writing particularly okay you can keep hydrogen no issues this is intramolecular aldol condensation one more example I will give you just have a look one five case we'll see double bond O okay this is hydrogen I am taking. First place, second place, third place, fourth place, fifth place, sixth place. One five diketone. We know the conditions. What happens here? From here, hydrogen is going to be shifted. Okay. So when you are using OH minus, that is base, hydrogen will go from here. It will become carbon ion. This is going to attack here. So sixth place is going to attack on the first place. So you are going to get a 6 member ring, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. First place will become OH, so this will become OH first place. The fifth place will be ketone, this is as it is I am keeping, between them a bond is formed. So later if you remove water molecule, that will be a 1 with this one, double bond. So what is the shortcut for this? The shortcut is very simple again. Uh, dehydration reaction directly you can use if you are having double bond O double bond O for example let us say this is also methyl uh, ketone first place second place third place fourth place this is also methyl no issues you can take like this also either this one or this one is going to be joining here very simple from here two hydrogen from here oxygen you take out one two this methyl I am taking as it is this ketone I am taking as it is. Two hydrogens from here, oxygen from here, water last, minus H2O. Two, one oxygen, two hydrogens. Between them a bond. Okay. Double bond O, hydrogens gone. And double bond you are getting here. This is the shortcut way. Very simple. What you need to do is, remove two alpha hydrogens and not immediate carbon. The carbon which is at uh, fourth place, you need to remove that one. Fourth or fifth place. Okay. See one more example, if it is having double bond O, uh, one more carbon is here, double bond O, this is first place, second, third, fourth, fifth, I am just saying 1, 5, 
that means uh, ketones the difference between the two ketone atoms should be the distance between them should be like 1 4 and 1 5 here what happens uh, from here ch3 it is there you can remove two from here two from here so you can see anything is okay this is double bond i am not touching this one two hydrogens gone from here with this one so one if this is first place second place third place fourth place fifth place sixth place first second third fourth fifth sixth place between them a double bond is going to form this reaction is known as intramolecular aldol condensation in the presence of strong dilute base if we are having 1 4 or 1 5 diketones di all the are also okay that means you need to get a 5 member ring or a 6 member ring okay generally 5 or 6 member rings are stable so you can get this thank you